Good morning, Maya Parvac. Here's the plan. More electrical prep up on the top. More rebar grid up top. More tie beam prep up top. More up top, basically. Along with uh, more work on the south wall. And probably off camera, we get the first visit from a potential solar system supplier. I don't think there'll be anything to show at this point of the discussions, but we'll see. Outside of that, not much. It may just be more of the same. What could possibly go wrong with that? Oh, slightly unusually, we'll start down here. This is just about the only area that I can actually access now without smashing my head on something. So I'm standing in what will be the living two or lanai or sunroom. And as you can see, everywhere now is just a grid of masses of scaffolding. And there is still more going in. Here you see where they've actually put the bracing in on this particular beam. And then you have the individual brace over there going up as well. So, nothing else I think to show you here. We'll go look elsewhere. Wish me luck. This will be very unsteady. Oh my god, still alive. So, the orange conduit getting extended more and more. We did have the visit this morning from the solar company and they've asked basically to put two more pieces of conduit going down. One would be for if we do have the full solar panels up there and one would be separately for solar hot water. I'm in the way here, I've got to move. And I'm not sure where they'll be, but... 101 kilos. Juanito's questioning my weight. <laughs> he thinks I'm too big to go on this. I did look up, actually, that I think concrete... What was it? 2,400 kilos per cubic meter. Hopefully I'm slightly less than that. But I am trying to make sure I only walk as much as possible on the beams rather than on the rebar grid. But everywhere we have orange conduit. And we still have William over there, the chief electrician one of his guys just beyond it this is looking north so if you keep going that way for far enough long enough you go up towards a town called Tarlac a city called Tarlac keep going a lot more you get up to Baguio which is a beautiful area and there's a lot more beyond which I've never been to I've only been to Baguio once, and that was 20 years ago. But that's going north. And the other way, if you go south, just about, uh, oh, I don't know, 300 meters that direction, you are, you're right on the edge of Magalang town. And also, if you head that way, generally speaking, you're heading over towards Angeles City, which is the biggest main city to us. Next door here, 
is the subdivision of Amelia Homes, which although it's still not very heavily populated and very overgrown in part, I believe all of the lots are actually sold, it's just that people haven't built on them yet. So, that's our immediate surroundings. Plus, of course, as we saw the other day, Mount Orion. Right, I gotta go try and get myself down now. Wish me luck again. Back on the south wall. A team of four. Lito, Rico, AJ, I think it's Ali with a green hat. Continuing to extend the height of this wall and do the columns as they go. And they're heading back up towards the house over there. I think they've got about another 11, 12 sections to go with these extra two uh, levels of concrete hollow block. And after that, I think it's already up at the correct height. What they haven't done so far is put the tie beam in and poured that. So that's still to be done. I'm not sure if that's the next step or if they will continue going past the basketball court and round that corner to the neighbour's wall that is going to fall over in the slightest puff of wind. So we'll have to watch that over the next couple of weeks. It's four o'clock, the end of the workday, given that it's a Saturday. So over here, they have continued. We're up to this point with the full height of the, column, of the concrete hollow block. And it looks like down there, there was a little bit more concrete pouring for the columns. So, they get back to this, from this point onwards. And remember, as they go, they're having to take the tie beam off, which they've done for the next four sections, and then put the hollow block on, and then put back the tie beam. Over here, not going to go back up. I don't think there'll be anything materially different to show you. Uh, obviously down here it's been a lot more scaffolding going in. Upstairs it will have been a lot more of the rebar getting tied in for the grid and tie beams and uh, conduit for electrical. So we're going to leave the house for this week. There will actually be a crew of six coming in tomorrow. I suspect we may not film that. Uh, but there are going to be those six doing a little bit of overtime. I believe they are going to be focused on this scaffolding. We'll see when we come back on Monday. For us, the day is not over. There is a small family celebration. It might be a reasonably large family celebration. Just for uh, my mother-in-law, Angelina's birthday, a few days ago. So the family will be heading over. The start time is four o'clock. It's now four o'clock and no one's here. Welcome to Philippine time. We will try, if they arrive in time and there's sufficient light, we'll try and capture a little bit of it just to give you a flavor of a, this particular family gathering. The party started. Hello. The queen of the party has arrived. Hello. Oh, there. The party was supposed to start at four o'clock. The first people. Are Oh, this lady's very shy. I'm sorry. She's very shy. No, I'm shy. I'm shy. We were supposed to start at four o'clock. And the first people arrived at 4.53. And it's now 5.20. Almost there are... But we're underway. Philippine time. Would you like this to be in the video? Oh, they're thinking about it. They're thinking about it. But clearly... The party holds no attraction for you guys, just your phones. Hello. 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 Who's going to dance? <laughs> no one's going to dance just yet. It's a little bit early. Still getting organized. Food preparation underway. It's quite traditional. 
so far from what I've seen at previous events, it's the ladies that go in the kitchen and the guys that are on the barbecue. Not that unusual in the UK, I suspect. So we've got head chef. Ivan is in charge of the barbecue at the moment. Philippine sausages, Philippine hot dogs, but there's a load more stuff to come. I suspect we're going to lose the light very, very soon. So this will be a feast. Salo Salo. What's the other name? Salo Salo and what else? What did you call it? Salo Salo and um, Kamayan. Kamayan. And another name you gave it. Kamayan Salo Salo Budo Fight. That's the one. Budo Fight. Budo Fight. Yeah, she hates being on camera. And possibly the most critical part of the meal has just arrived. JP comes bearing rice. You could not have a meal here without a ton of rice. And it'll all get laid out on these banana leaves. If the light allows, we'll come back when it's a little bit more complete. And by the way, look at that sunset. Isn't that rather gorgeous? It may be too dark. We will see. And this is still far from complete. But this is what we have so far. And there is still fish and beef and goodness knows what else, all those sausages still to come. And once it comes, it's all eaten with your hands. It's a sight to behold, actually, when you see 20 or 30 people standing over a table like this. Really quite impressive. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this won't come out, but you never know. So here we go. Salo, salo. Salo, salo. Kabayan? Kabayan, is that right? No, not Kabayan. A feast. Right, that's it for the day. We're going to go and enjoy this. Following which, in traditional style, the ladies will go chatting, the boys will most likely go drinking a little bit. So, see you Monday. Thank you.